I started wondering recently. There are millions of wild rabbits in Australia, but for some reason, I've never heard that rabbit meat is popular there. There's a lot of kangaroo meat in Australian stores. They even sell it like beef, but there's no rabbit meat. What I found out is simply shocking. It is a known fact that settlers in Australia kept rabbits on ships so that they would always have meat to eat. One of the settlers, Thomas Austin, was missing his homeland, so he released 24 rabbits into Australian nature. Then a terrible thing happened. The rabbits didn't have natural enemies in Australia, so they began to multiply exponentially. 70 years later, the initial 24 rabbits bred up to 10 billion. This is an absolute record for the breeding of mammals on our planet. First millions, then billions of rabbits moved across the continent at a speed of 80 miles a year. They moved through New South Wales to the west of Australia, devastating everything in their path. They are responsible for the disappearance of many Australian animals and plants, the devastation of pastures, and the destruction of forests. Clearing the land of vegetation, rabbits have caused erosion of Australian soils, since soil without forest and grass gets washed out and eroded quickly, and it will take hundreds of years to restore it. Several methods were used to try to decrease the rabbit population. They were shot, poisoned, and their holes were plowed up with tractors. But none of these measures have proven to be effective. In 1950, a biological weapon was used against rabbits for the first time. It was the myxoma virus. 99% of the rabbits died from the disease at the time, but the survivors developed resistance to the virus. In 1995, a biological weapon was used again, the calicivirus, which causes rabbit hemorrhagic disease. This virus helps keep the wild rabbit population within the 300 million mark. A few years ago, another virus was released to fight Australian rabbits. It's a Korean stamp that Australians hope will help them further reduce the number of rabbits on the continent. So how come there are so many rabbits in Australia, but their meat isn't sold in stores? It turns out that only a few thousand rabbits were kept in private households. There are only four farms in all of Australia where they are bred. The problem is that all of the released viruses are carried by blood-sucking insects that don't distinguish between wild and domestic rabbits, but simply infect all of them. It costs $10 to vaccinate one rabbit and $40 if the vaccination is done by a vet. Thus, the breeders would need to spend $10,000 to $40,000 a year to vaccinate a farm of 1,000 rabbits. That's just too expensive. Therefore, rabbit meat in Australia is considered one of the most expensive kinds of meat, which are only served in fine dining restaurants. As for the meat of the wild rabbits, first of all, they are all infected, and no one wants to eat the meat of sick animals. And second of all, those rabbits are wild, which makes their meat tough and sinewy so it has no culinary value. So that's the secret. Australians treat rabbits the way we treat rats. And we don't eat rats.